Have you ever wanted to get out of the office and have an adventure? Well, I found my dream boat and I had no excuses left. Hi, my name is Daryl. Check out some of my wildest adventures. This is me, this is me, and this is me as well. After serving in the Canadian Coast Guard for years on boats just like this, I decided to buy my own and sail around the world. This channel is my passion project, where I outfit my boats for extreme conditions and put them to the test. First up, Canada to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico in the stormy season. So stay tuned and subscribe as I embark on the worldwide dinghy ride. Okay, Daryl here with the I Dream of Dinghy. Right now, I just got to the Victoria Airport and I am going to pick up Tom. Tom has no idea what he's getting into. Well, he does, but we are about to load the boat, my dinghy, and travel from Victoria, BC, Canada, where I am now, YYJ Airport, and we're going to head all the way to Puerto Vallarta in my dinghy. We have a long way to go and I am so excited, but this is the very beginning of this journey. Let's go kick some butt and welcome Tom. I hope he doesn't quit part way through. This is going to be the most epic trip you have ever seen. Let me tell you. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. This is it. He should be coming off the airport if he's not already off. We'll find him. He flew in from Calgary. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> okay. Let's just start. What are we doing? We're taking a six meter dinghy from here to uh, Mexico. That's all I know. That's a pretty insane I haven't trip. Seen, I've seen a picture. Otherwise, it's all I know so far. Okay. Well, we're going to take good care of Tom. I even bought an e for the dinghy. <laughs> <laughs> this is serious. Have you looked at the weather? No, uh, I saw that it's like five degrees. Just five no, like, degrees. like. You mean on the way down? Waves. Like no, I eight it meter swells right now. We have to wait for that to die down, <laughs> but it's coming with us. So we have a little extra time before we get going. Morning, everyone. The boys are going shopping. <laughs> Walmart <laughs> trip prep. I've uh, spent the last two years in Central America and I've got no warm clothes. I'm used to 30 degree heat and uh, I've just come in now and it's maybe five. <laughs> so I need, I need more, more clothes. That's the plan for me today. Okay, we showed up last night. I guess, what time did we get here? We got here last night uh, in the evening. We went out to the pub and we're just gonna get started on the boat itself. Uh, Tom's here, hanging out. How's it going? Pretty good, right excited. On. I'm excited to show Tom the boat for the first time. I can't even believe he didn't go in last night. <laughs> you have to go check this out. No, I wanted to wait till the daylight. What do you think of it so far? Awesome, yeah, it looks like a cop. Like a police boat. Yeah? We're gonna confiscate some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. Um, let's go do a tour of the boat and see what we got. So that's our charge controller for shore power and that goes in the there. And we're on zero battery. This then moves forward or back. And so this is gonna be our bolster or seat. Mm -hmm. So we can snuggle up. This up here is where the heater is, up there, and it blows sideways. Okay, this is the first couple minutes Tom's been in here. Let's go see what he thinks. Tom, will we make it? Will we make it? Will we make it? Of course we're gonna make it. You think so? Yeah, it's gonna have its challenges, but we're gonna make it. Okay. No um, doubt in my mind. I'm definitely like nervous a bit. It's a big ocean a that we're going. I'm really nervous. Are you? Yeah. That's good. I think that's good. <laughs> that's good. We've got a lot of uh, additional safety equipment we're putting on the boat, including a tender, just in case. I'm not nervous for my life, though. You should be. Yeah, I mean, I'm taking, I'm taking it seriously, but I'm not, I'm not nervous that, like, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to die. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have a pretty uh, wild ride ahead of us. Again, guys, we're going from Victoria, BC, down to Puerto Vallarta. Do you know we were only supposed to go to Cabo? Have you measured it exactly? I think it's around 2,000 miles. 
I think it's about 2,600, 2,500, but that is some of the ins and outs marked in there. That's going into each bay, yeah. all the way out. So that's got some in and out. So yeah, we're on the same page. You okay. excited? Yeah. Okay. When, I, when I say I'm nervous, I'm nervous about the comfort. I'm nervous about rough seas. I'm nervous yeah. about like that's why I say I'm nervous. I'm nervous, but not about my life. I'm nervous that it's just going to be pretty uncomfortable. There's going to be uncomfortable moments. What is your goal? What's the fish you want to catch? <laughs> I want to catch a marlin on this inflatable boat. That's my goal. Uh, I, a big tuna would be good. Big tuna, okay. But I'm I'm in part of the world where I don't I've never fished, so there's what do you call them? You want to do some fishing up here? Yeah, I mean if there's fish to catch, yeah. I've never okay. been I've never been halibut fishing. I've never okay. I've never caught a salmon. I don't know if that's a thing. Is that it's not really a trophy fish, is it? But the salmon? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Just how big does salmon get? Massive. I, okay. Not a lie. One of the world record fish was caught at Rivers Inlet when I was there two or three years ago. What is it that? Was Seventy-five pound salmon. Seventy-five pound salmon. They let it go. Hmm. Um, and not. Are you meant to let them go? Like yeah, because this is like one river where these monsters go in and out, mm -hmm. and so people fish there. But usually, when you get, uh, I think the record is like a hundred pounds over the last couple of years. So when you get one, all the fishermen are so excited and they just want to let it go, which is good. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're that's why they have them. So let them go and breathe. Anyways. Okay, let's finish this boat tour and see what's up next. There's not yeah. that far to go. No, you don't have to, just, a, <laughs> just a few steps. And We're in it. it. Okay. So I'm gonna start on one of the first projects of the day. I'm gonna work on building and removing the toilet. There's a built-in toilet. We're gonna remove that, make it storage, and then start making the bed. That's what I'm up to, is I'm gonna get in there and start unbolting the toilet and all the pieces and tidying that all up so we can use it for nice, clean, dry storage. So I'm inside and I'm actually sitting on the toilet uh, we're gonna pull this toilet out. What I'm thinking of doing is unbolting the toilet, shutting the through haul valves, which are really accessible, and bagging these up, assuming that they're decently clean, and just strap them up out of the way, and that's it. Because I do want to be able to put the toilet back in the boat after. Right now, I'm gonna take out this next panel, there's the washer fluid thing. I'm gonna pull the toilet. We'll get that organized and start uh, rebuilding with storage below. I might try and do a couple dividers so that things stay still, but we're just at the beginning. Let's see how it goes. just about to work on the toilet with that front there's so much space I am so excited I need space this is awesome that is the window washer fluid not my favorite spot hey going guys all right I'm going to be uh, pumping up the uh, the new dinghy a new inflatable. Is that? Check a cat. It's a New Zealand company, actually. I just found out, which I'm proud to say is a New Zealand company. I'm not sure about the color. Check it out for yourself. Cat 300 in all its glory. Look at that color. Morning, everyone. <coughs> Big Daz. Uh, so, the welders have come back with the frame that is going up on the roof that our um, new Tacky Cat dinghy is going to sit on. Um, so here it is here. 
the radar is sitting in between here. We've got these triangles welded on so we can fix our spotlights on the front and then anything we need to, any sort of extras we need to put on, anything aerials, things like that we can put on behind. There's plenty of room on either side. So yeah, now it's time for the install. Let's go. So there it is, that's our frame in position. We've eyed it up. Here's Big Daz again. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna go oh. and get uh, more lo of the longer bolts that you need yeah. for that. Yeah. So I'm gonna get, what, eight of them? Yeah. And then, do we need nuts and stuff for those? No. No. Yeah, okay. So that and the starter kit. Bob's gonna run home and grab some stuff. I'm gonna get the starter kit and then I'm gonna come help you bolting down the lights if we need it. Okay, that's the lights put on now. They're all bolted on. Now we're just gonna flip it upside down and do the wiring. Okay, here's the wiring done. Lights are bolted on, wiring is tidied up, and um, we're now ready to chuck it on and um, test it. Let's go. Okay, now we've set it in place, uh, and we've marked where we're gonna drill down for the wiring, and uh, Bob's onto that now. Okay, so yesterday we pre-drilled the holes. We've got all the wiring in, all the cables are going down, Bob's under there now, wiring it up. And we have now caulked around our holes. Boom, that's a bit of a messy one. Bang, bang. Now me and the big fella are gonna fix it down. I'm gonna be on top, he's gonna be down below. Let's go. So there we go, our top frame. The roof is done. Used them already. I'm just saying it does look a little problem. messy. I've just caked on some um, seeker flex because this frame is going to come off again uh, in a few months after the trip uh, to get powder coated. We want it black. So what I've done is just caked that on just to make sure this doesn't leak. I don't really care about what it looks like as long as it doesn't leak. And once it goes to the powder coat, it comes back. We'll do a do a much tidier job. So that's it, job done. So this here is the underside of the frame. We used four by four or 100 mil by 100 mil, kind of five mil or what would you call it? Quarter inch alley, because that roof is only about 20 mil or three quarters of an inch uh, thick of just a thin bit of fiberglass and I think just uh, ply. So it's actually not made for bolting to, it's pretty weak, so you've got to put a plate there just in case there was any sort of weight or wind or anything, any gust that wanted to force that uh, frame up, it's got that plate to stop it. If it was just bolts, there's a chance those bolts are just gonna pull through. And uh, so that's what we've done. We've just put those plates underneath, as you can see. I'm up. I'm antsy and I'm just trying to get ready to get this boat going. I've done all the final paperwork for crossing the border. Um, I think, we'll see. This is the worldwide dinghy ride. I was stressed today, there's no doubt. Just trying to get everything done. Wish us luck. We're gonna need it. Oh, fuck. 